Gunther officially won the King of the Ring tournament, defeating Randy Orton in the finals. This was a difficult decision to make considering that the winner was going to be given a SummerSlam World Championship title match. And I say because of that new announcement, it's difficult because many people predicted for Randy Orton, aka the Viper, to win the match. It was really looking like we were getting Randy King Orton because a lot of people were expecting for the WWE to put him in a feud with Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship going into SummerSlam. But that's not going to be the case. Gunther won and became the King General. However, there was some controversy after the match. When Gunther pinned Randy, the shoulder of Randy wasn't on the mat, and this should not have counted as a win. I'm not sure if this was a botch or if this was all a part of the plan, but the WWE decided to capitalize on it, and Triple H actually spoke out about it, saying that the referee's final decision is final. He also said that he knows that Gunther does not want to win like that, insinuating that there will be a rematch down the line in the future between these two men i don't know if this was a botch like i said earlier or the plan but it was genius regardless the wwe clearly wanted gunther to win the king of the ring tournament and he needed it more than randy orton at the end of the day let's be real the viper can just be inserted into a title match without a problem because he's randy freaking orton he could literally just say he wants a title match because he's the real deal or whatever and pull a johnson from 2016 when he just came back in december and said you know what i want a title shot and i'm johnson so I'm going to do that. Randy is a legend and could do the same. With the way it happened, it makes Randy Orton look strong because he technically should not have lost. The match should have continued. And I think even Cody should acknowledge this. Rhodes should come out on SmackDown and talk about his friend deserving a title shot at SummerSlam because he was never pinned. And that's the kind of champion Cody is. So Cody openly invites Randy to a title match. And that will make the heel turn feel so much better. Because at that point, it's going to feel like, Cody, you did that to yourself. On the other hand, this also sets up a rematch, like I said earlier, down the line between Randy and Gunther. And that's going to be even better than the first time around i know a lot of wrestling fans love to see clean finishes nowadays but i think finishes like this are fine in the 70s and in the 80s there were plenty of finishes like that so i have no problem with it i actually love how gunther wrestles like an old school wrestler and he's even booked old school now let's talk about gunther and his path to SummerSlam as well as the world heavyweight championship as we know he's going to get a SummerSlam main event world heavyweight championship match but who's it going to be against First, we need to answer the question, who's going to win at Clash at the Castle? Because Damian Priest is currently the world's heavyweight champion, and he's got a world title match with Drew McIntyre for the belt in Scotland. And I think the best idea is for Drew McIntyre to win the world championship at Clash and then defeat Gunther at SummerSlam, honestly, because I want to see CM Punk and Drew compete for the WWE Championship. But anyways, if the WWE is looking to give Gunther the world title, then I think that Damian Priest needs to retain at Clash. I'm not a fan of Drew McIntyre winning the belt at Clash only to have him lose it a month later at SummerSlam. It just would not make sense. He deserves a long title reign. I would hate to see CM Punk screw him over again. That would honestly just make people start to not like CM Punk. They'd be like, come on, stop ruining this man's championship reign. That's why it would be better for Priest to just drop the belt after retaining at Clash. There is a sleeper choice I have for who Gunther should fight if it's not Drew or if it's not Damian Priest. And that man, it's, it's almost impossible, but that man is Finn Balor. Just imagine if he turns on Damian Priest and then becomes the world's champion before SummerSlam. Like I said, it's almost impossible, but Gunther versus Finn Balor would be a lot of fun. Anyway, so the real reason why Gunther won the King of the Ring is because WWE is all in on the ring general, and they most likely want to see him win the World Heavyweight Championship, whether that's beating Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, or Finn Balor, it don't matter. He will be champion very soon. And the way they booked it was to ensure that Cody will have enough sympathy to give Randy a title shot at SummerSlam, as well as giving us a rematch down the line between Randy and Gunther. And they didn't make Randy look weak at all. So that's the real reason why all this happened. And I think it's a win-win for both men. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this was the right decision? Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you all in the next video.